In this tutorial, we'd like to introduce Microsoft Sway, a product that's inside the Office 365 suite. To access this product, log into your Lewis account. Inside your Office 365, go into your applications and navigate to the Sway. Once you're inside Sway, you'll notice that this is an online program. You'll see that we have the options to create a new Sway, start from a blank document, or select from a template. But what is a Sway? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. What I've done here is I've created just a real basic Sway. This took about five minutes to make, literally. When you open a Sway, you'll have two different tabs on the upper left-hand side. A storyline where you can add content and view content, and then a design tab that focuses more on the text and the layout. Let's go ahead and preview this Sway. First things first, you'll see that I put a title in and I've selected an image that goes with that title. Then I have a block of slides that go together. Let's view this. This is very dynamic and you'll notice that Sway has created a presentation an interactive presentation should we say that is much more fluid looking as I scroll through this than your standard PowerPoint presentation. You'll also see that my media has been embedded into this. Very different way of working. Now we can set Sway up to be viewed in three different options and this is done by going up on the left hand corner to the gear and selecting your settings. You'll see that we have a default layout which is what we just previously viewed. We also have scroll horizontally and optimized for presentations. I'll go ahead and demo each one of these. So here's scrolls horizontally and what I like about this as opposed to a traditional PowerPoint is when we use our navigational tools in the lower right hand corner to advance a slide, if this was a PowerPoint, we'd advance completely off of both of these images. But in this case, we're continuously working our way through the presentation. And I think that that's a real advantage of using Sway. We'll go ahead and we'll navigate now to the presentation mode. There we go and this is your presentation mode. Presentation mode looks an awful lot like PowerPoint in that we can advance one slide to the next. Let's talk about with a sway how we can use this and change this. So first thing I'm going to do is we're going to open the Sway, but I'm going to show you how you can edit the Sway. So we looked at the Storyline tab. Now let's look a little bit at the Design tab. The Design tab here, when we select this, has a tab on the right hand side across that says Styles. And what we can do here is we can select different text, colors, and layouts. There's also this really neat button here called Remix, and when we push this, it will give us different design ideas, whether that's text or whether that's changing the image color, and it will just keep reworking different combinations. If we don't like something, we can either keep selecting Remix, but better yet, we can use the previous undo buttons to revert to the previous slides. Now I personally liked this first one so I'm going to go ahead and stay with this. But you'll see here that I have the ability to choose lots of different options and if I'm not finding what I want I can always customize my text, annotation size, okay, all of that. Once we're done with our Sway, you may be asking, well, this is great. What am I supposed to do with it? How am I supposed to share it? Well, it's really quite simple. 
we come up in the upper right hand corner to the share button and you're given several options so you can share your sway with specific people in your groups the organizational link or anyone with the link you also have the ability to invite people to view or actually edit a sway which gives students the possibility to join in on editing the sway you can share a visual link but what's really interesting is that you have the ability to embed the HTML code. Let me show you where this comes in handy. I'm going to copy this code to my clipboard. I'm going to navigate into a Blackboard shell that I have. This is just a mock-up. I'm going to go create. I'll call this Rupert Neve. And in my text box, I'm going to select the HTML code view. When I select that, I'm going to now paste my HTML code directly in. I'm going to navigate down and I'm going to select submit. And what we're going to see here now is that my presentation has embedded into my Blackboard shell. Imagine this like having your PowerPoint presentation always open in your shell. And I can navigate through this in a dynamic way. And you'll see this. I can view my YouTube video interview in here. What else is really neat about this is I have the option to make this full screen. I also have the option to give an accessible view for accessibility. I think this is a great feature since we've been talking so much about Project Ally lately. And under the gear or settings icon, I can actually change the layout if I'm a student to something that I particularly like. I'm going to leave all of that alone right now and just back out of that. And I'm going to go back up to Sway here. Let me close that out. Okay, let's say you want to create a Sway. We haven't really looked at how to do that yet. So I'm going to go to My Sways. And remember, I said that we have create a blank one, start from a document, or we have a variety of templates that we can replace images and add text to. We'll do a new blank sway here in a moment, but I do want to make mention about start a new document. The difference is this. When you start a new document, you have the ability to import either a pre-existing PowerPoint, and sway will do its best to convert that, or you can import a PDF document, and sway will actually do its best to extract that information out of the PDF document. It works surprisingly well, so I would encourage you to experiment with that. For our example, though, I'm going to go ahead and select a new blank sway. And it's pretty self explanatory. We're going to go ahead and we're going to call this Faculty Center. And maybe we want to add a background image for this. All I need to do is select background image. On the side, I'll get search suggestions for key titles. But I can always type in my own. And I can also always upload my own images if I need to. But since I don't have any image for this just yet, I'll go ahead and say search for this. It has the option to look for images, videos, and you can choose whether or not you want it to search Creative Commons. I'm going to keep Creative Commons on, and I'm just going to select an image that I think feels fitting for this. I'll go ahead and add this image, and let's go ahead and preview what we have. So here's our current preview of what this could look like. And again, if we don't like it, we can change it with the Design tab. I'm going to go ahead and continue to edit this. And let's say we wanted to add text or media here. If we select under text, we have heading or normal text. And by selecting either one of these, 
you'll just open up another box. You can, under media, add video, images, audio, embed HTML, or upload more information from your own device. And we can even put in links throughout this. But you can see with Sway, it's really just as simple as coming below any device or any box or field and adding the content that you want. That simple. If you want to remove something, come up here to the box that it's in or the section and delete the card. And that's really about it. This is a very intuitive product. It's very simple to be up and running and creating highly rich content. I hope that you'll choose to explore this content for yourself and for your students as you rethink how we use presentation software. I hope that you found this tutorial useful. For more information, please visit us at the Faculty Center for the Advancement of Teaching and Learning, and please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.